have reached the voicemail box of the Big Bets on Campus podcast. Leave a message after the bleep. Stuck. Didn't get to call in last week. Wasn't walking out of Kinnick. Was walking out of a church for a fall wedding. Cardinal sent. Anyways, get to the office this morning. Collins got his Maryland three and a half. Saw you hit Maryland plus four early in the week. Kirk Barron, 26 and one against the spread in his last 27 as a road favorite. Hawks by a million, boys. Calling the shot on Wednesday. Hey, Stucky. Suck it. Go Hawks. Boys, 34 to fucking seven. Fucking disaster. As a one-time graduate of the University of Maryland, 20 fucking years of primetime bullshit. I want 11 a.m. Jefferson Pilot Raycom fucking feeds every single week. Crab cakes and turnovers. That's what Maryland does tonight. Go Hawks. Gentlemen, you know what? It's Martin from Florida, formerly Chicago. Listen, and I make a terrible mistake of putting $3,000 on Mike fucking Loxley. I want to know, does he roofie the parents? Does he have affairs with the mothers? What does this fat fuck do to recruit? Why would anyone play for this guy? He's a fat loser. Maryland's a disgrace. Scott Van Pelt's bald. I hate Maryland. I hate Maryland. It's bad juju. Mike locks me fat and stupid and sucks. Also, fuck McMurphy. Goodbye. Had him in L.A. I don't know what's worse, guys. Could be the fact that this was Colin's favorite bet of the week. It could be the fact that Stucky seems to love to fade Iowa, which just ends up f***ing us all over. But no, it's the fact that I have to go to a wedding tomorrow where the groom's family and friends are all from Iowa, which means I have to sit through a whole f***ing wedding and hear these flyover fuckwits talk about Kirk Ferentz. Seriously, Colin Stuck, love you guys, but f*** these Iowa fans. How much meth are they smoking down in Iowa City that they can't see that they're getting every f***ing bounce, every f***ing break, every f***ing call? F*** Iowa. Bulldog Jim, you f***ing asshole. You're up 21 with five minutes left in the fourth quarter, and you're throwing the ball f***ing deep down the sideline? F*** you, that killed the f***ing under. God, f***, man, I hope this Michigan team loses all their f***ing games the rest of the year. Oh, my f***ing God, guys. How many times are we going to do this with Wisconsin? I think I would rather jerk off with sandpaper than bet on Wisconsin again. If Graham Mertz's brain was on fire, I wouldn't piss in his ear to put it out. F*** this guy. Woo, pig suey! God, I'm so glad I listened to Colin and Stuck this week. I got my three TVs set up in my living room like 11.45, and I look at my action app and realize I only have one game going in the noon slate. That never happens to me. And it's over as soon as they kicked off. I just got a haircut on a Saturday afternoon in October because the only noon game that I bet on was that abortion of a game between Arkansas and Georgia. Oh my fucking God. And they had the game on at the barbershop and I said point me at Fear Factor. I'd rather watch Joe Rogan in cargo pants give away fucking Tebos than watch that piece of shit game. Oh, look at me. I'm Colin. Oh, I went to the University of Arkansas. Oh, woo pig suey. I can't pick a fucking Arkansas game right to save my fucking life, Colin. Oh, look at me. I'm Colin. I know the wide receiver coach. I know the kicker. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, uh, this is Colin's grandma, and I'm going to let it all out. And this is it. This is the word. This is the word you need to spread across the United States. I saw that game this morning between Ole Miss and Alabama. And I don't know what crazies bet against Alabama. There's a cardinal rule that we have in Arkansas. You don't bet against Alabama. Now, you got to get that through your corn-fed head. You know what I mean? Alabama goes and the rest of them sink. (laughs) You know, you got the message? Stick it on your forehead. Bye. Hey, Colin. Great call on Texas over 35 and a half and TCU plus four and a half. Somehow we lost both. Just a f***ing nightmare scenario. What kind of 40-year-old says peace out anyway? 
Peace out on your stupid ass Texas and TCU beds. Hey, it's Mr. Bowling Green again. Just calling you back. We covered uh, no big deal. We covered every time this year. Uh, I just want some respect. We deserve respect. Tell us how you feel. Thanks. Stucky, what's up, Degenerate Nation? Hey, dude, keep betting against Alabama. Suck my d- I know this is not popular because it's not the fucking zappies or whatever the fuck. Dude, I think Ole Miss might win this game. Blow me. Get your fist out of your ass and fucking figure out how to do your job because that was fucking horrible. Ole Miss never had a chance. Alabama always was going to win that game. Sucky, fucking blow it out your ass. Thanks. Roll Tide, me. Well, besides bull season, it's this, my second most favorite time of the year. It's Brock October, baby. I mean, can you imagine having a pulse and not laying a single cent on Brock Party in fucking October? Can you imagine Brock fucking October? Woo! Hey, fellas. I know I'm a Hawkeye. And I know I told you we'd be betting on Brocktober in October, but come on, guys. You guys got scared away from that? Brocktober. It's here. We ride those clowns and enjoy the money train until they embarrass themselves in November. Stuck. Watching the end of this Clemson-Boston college game where Boston College actually did just sh down their fing pants on a shotgun snap. Look to the crowd and Clemson's going ape shit like they just won another national championship. Bunch of fing losers. What are you doing? You beat a hockey school. Oregon State minus two and a half, baby. Let's go! You Seattle, you're a stupid city because you don't know what to do with those pot salads and scrambled eggs. Love the pod. Thatcher Demko for president.